Here's something I don't think anyone else has ever said. I drove from Wisconsin to Iowa to go musky fishing with a gentleman from Minnesota who's a YouTuber for a Swedish company. What's going on? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I am here in Iowa. Come on up here, we'll oh. do this. This is Ben Stone. Uh, this is the gentleman I was talking about. Ben and I were talking on the Facebooks and he said, hey, we should go out and fish together. I said, that's a fantastic idea. We have a mutual friend in Iowa. It was about a four hour drive for each of us. So here we are. We are musky fishing in Iowa. Um, we have, I think pre-turnover conditions. It got really cold last night, like there was frost on the boat cover. Um, we have water temps uh, in the high 50s right now. We've got high sun, so that's gonna warm up. So, I don't know. I, I'd like to say I know what muskies are gonna do, but they're muskies, they're jerks, so they're just gonna do whatever they want to. But uh, this is gonna be really fun. First time meeting Ben. I think this is gonna be great. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot other to say than that. We should probably just start fishing, huh? No, I gotta catch my first out-of-state muskie, so. Oh, that's right. We gotta get him an Iowa muskie. I already got, I got one earlier this year fishing with Matt Vavrock and uh, Steve Jonasy. I'll link that video in the description below so you can watch that. But uh, yeah, let's get Ben his first Iowa muskie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have an eight inch Kodiak Navin. This sucker's beat up. It's probably half wood, half paint at this point. Uh, ben is throwing, what you got there? Is that a Bondi Royal Orba? Yeah, I got a Royal Orba. He's throwing a Royal Orba. Um, we are working a little bit of shoreline with some weeds. We got rocks up there, there's trees. So uh, a little bit of everything. We're in about nine feet of water. The water temp just touched 60 degrees here. So, uh, and going over some of the deeper part of the lake, uh, I was seeing a thermocline so uh, definitely pre-turnover here uh turnover usually doesn't happen until the mid 50s so i think we're safe there the water's a little murky um visibility's maybe foot foot and a half but that's the deal folks oh and of course i'm throwing this on a chaos tackle 2020 surgical strike with a 400 hg tranks that's the setup that's what we're fishing that's what we're doing now we just need to catch fish great they were and like I was sold on them and I got I ordered two of them and they seem nice they had like that sin that black sin cork that like yep. Brothers Rob does yep and they seem nice there there's one oh 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 did you just pop oh, oh that was a good that's a it good felt boil good. oh no oh look at that boil dude it I didn't see the fish but it was pushing a wall of water oh, was it really yeah i, oh I was looking God. down trying to reel in and oh oh my dude and the freaking okay. the blades are like hot oh. i don't know if that must have happened when the fish hit sure okay all right well that sucks but it also means that a fish was moving we're actually what the heck time is it so the miner is just over but it's actually what were two days past full moon so you know if you look at any of the uh fish activity things you know it's in the high percentages 70 80 percent so Ooh, okay all right <laughs> that uh that had teeth that was definitely one of those muscle arms There, we'll get that one. So did you end up getting the full rundown on why fish? No, I don't think that's fish. 
I think maybe it is. It is a fish. That's a muskie. <laughs> he was not fighting like anything. You can just leave it in there. That'll bring him up here. Oh, he just come off. Oh my God. Shoot. That was the weakest hit I've ever had. I thought I was stuck on something out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. No way. Oh, poop. Well, I haven't had this death pause minnow on for that long, and it uh, got me a fish. That's probably more my fault than anything, because that did not feel like a musky hit. That felt like I was stuck on something. But it was a musky. So... Uh, I guess at least we got to see that one <laughs> on, on a high note. So we're uh, third time's the charm, hopefully. That's the second one we've come into contact with. Um, shoot. I could tell he wasn't hooked real solid. Yeah, it just came in weird. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Hey, at least we've contacted two fish. Well, I'm quite positive that one of you is going to yell at me. Probably more than one of you is going to yell at me for not setting the hook on that fish. I didn't think that was a fish. There was no head shakes. There was no nothing. That just came in like a wet sock. Um, but it was a muskie. Uh, we had a little issue with the net. We had a bait stuck in the net. The fish wasn't hooked good. So it was just, it was muskie fishing wrapped up into all one little scenario there. Um, all the bad luck that you could ever wish for happened. So, uh, but a good sign. We've had two hits for muskies, no follows, but two hits. I'd rather have them hit out than see a bunch of follows. So uh, at least that part is good. We're contacting fish, we're getting things figured out. Um, again, I've been in this lake once back in May. So we're just trying to find some weeds. Uh, six degree water temp means the fish should be up shallow. That's where we're finding them. We're gonna keep at it. And hopefully, third time's a charm and we can get one of these things in the net. That was a muskie right there. Did you see it? No. It was a small fish, but he just, he came whoop, out of the water. I might uh, I might actually caught that on the. It probably won't look like much, but that was definitely a muskie. Came all the way out of the water. Yeah, yeah. Just went like that. Probably I don't know 50 yards ahead. Oh, that was a muskie. I saw it. I saw the back of that thing. Yeah. It was facing towards us. I don't know what it was doing. Looked decent too. I just, I heard the noise, I looked over to see what it was, and I just saw the back fins kind of, huh. it didn't look like, it looked like it was like attacking something. I mean, it. All right, folks, I hate to say this to you because it's been said before, but it's called musky fishing and not much musky catching for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, they're jerks. That's, that's all I have to say about that. We had our shots. Uh, we had two fish hooked up. Uh, Ben's seemed like a pretty nice fish. Mm -hmm. We never got a real good look at it, but it tore up that Royal Orba pretty good and moved a lot of water. Um, the fish I had was like a mid thirties, just felt like a wet sock. That was the <laughs> strangest, that's still the strangest hit I've ever had. Um, I don't think a better hook set would have helped us because it was just barely lip hooked uh, on the middle hook when I got it close to the boat and, and popped off. So, um, yeah, we gave it a shot. Um, That's how it goes. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the good part is, I have a new friend here mm -hmm. uh, in Ben Stone. Uh, we've been talking a little bit on the Facebook, and 
just to be able to get together with somebody else that likes to film and fish for muskies was a treat. So uh, please check out Ben's YouTube channel, cannelgratis.usa. Mm -hmm. It's all spelled out. The dot is actually D-O-T in there. I will put that in the description down below so you can check out his channel. He is a fantastic editor and has a lot of really cool videos. So please check him out. With that, we need to go back, have a couple of cocktails, <laughs> have some food, and hang out with our good friend Matt Bavrock, who we'll be fishing with tomorrow. So with any luck, uh, we'll be seeing a video with the three of us in the boat. So that's the plan. I really appreciate every single one of you watching, and I will see you on the next video.